A mom of a murdered toddler sentenced to probation. A mom of a murdered toddler sentenced to probation. Today, 83 days after we found this little girl on the shoreline, we're at last able to speak for baby Bella. The girl's body was discovered June 25th. All authorities knew for sure was that she hadn't been dead very long. In light of the evidence that we have developed, I have authorized the arrest of Michael Patrick McCarthy, age 35, for Bella's murder. Michael McCarthy is Bella's mother's boyfriend. Thursday night, the tip investigators had been waiting almost three months for came into the Boston Police Homicide Unit. Authorities acted quickly, arresting not only McCarthy, but Bella's mother, Rochelle Bond, too. She's charged as an accessory after the fact. But she didn't mean it. She didn't mean to murder the baby. She's a really nice person. She comes from a good family. No one says that about Pookie. Ain't that right, Charlie? Charlie Peach? No one says that about Pookie. No one says he was really a good guy. He go lock his ass up. He, he came from a good family. So? He's never been in trouble. You in trouble now? Let's hear the story of how this lady got off with it. Bond was in jail waiting her trial when she agreed to testify against McCarthy. We could not prosecute Michael McCarthy. We would not have been able to hold him accountable without the truthful, truthful testimony of Rachel Bond. Bond served nearly two years in jail and will enter a rehabilitation facility for substance abuse upon her release from South Bay Correction Center in Boston on Friday, says her attorney Janice Basau. She's scared about her future. She has a future without her child, and regardless of what people think of her involvement or not, she grieves the loss of that child every single day. Bond sentencing caps a saga that began in June 2015 when a jogger found an unidentified girl's partially decomposed body in a trash bag along Deer Island near Boston. Authorities launched an extensive effort to identify the girl known as Baby Doe and commissioned an artist to draw a composite image of her that was widely shared. The case broke open in September 2015 after Rachel Bond admitted to a friend that her daughter Bella was dead and that the girl had not been taken away from the Department of Child and Families as she had told others, including the child's father. The friend recognized Baby Doe as Bella Bond and notified police. The tip led to the arrest of McCarthy and Bond. Prosecutors relied heavily on Bond's testimony during McCarthy's trial. They claimed that McCarthy had called Bella a demon, killed her, and dumped a trash bag with the child's body into the water near Deer Island. So what we got is a bunch of meth heads and maybe devil worshippers or something going on. And, and see, here's the thing. You got to be involved in your child's life, man, because you don't know. This is not the father of the child who had anything to do with this. And the mother, of his, the mother and her boyfriend apparently just do a lot of drugs and start seeing and hearing things. Now, if you're in your right state of mind, seeing and hearing things may be kind of cool. Ooh, listen, listen to what I'm hearing, man. Is that the roots? I like the roots. Ain't no music on. Shut up, man. I hear it. Don't you hear it, man? But what's not cool is when you have like demons in your head, like you are, you, you know, you got problems and you, you hear, you don't hear that type of music. You hear, ah, ah, when you hear that, that's when the drugs are not so good. So evidently they were hearing a bunch of that and they assumed there's something to do with the baby. When the baby cried, it made that, instead of just taking the baby to like, you know, take it to the police house or something, the fire station or driving away or something, they decided to do this. I don't know why she got off, but come on. I don't know. I, I don't think she should have. Bella's mother's Facebook page is filled with love for her daughter. Pictures of them snuggling, making pizza. Her mother often used the hashtag best girl ever. For this picture, she wrote, my love, my soul, my life. My heart beats because she's in my world. But man, you got to admit, like, you got to admit, guys, you got to admit. Some people can look innocent when they're guilty. They could cry and stuff. <laughs> Don't work for, you know, 
big guys like me don't work that well. You got to be more petite. Big guy crying just looks sad, just silly. People just, they, they don't even feel sorry for me when I start crying. <laughs> they just, <laughs> they just look at me like, yes, it's a big bastard crying about. It's too big to cry. You know, so like some people get sympathy, some people don't. The darker you are, the less sympathy you get. The bigger you are, the less sympathy you get too. Big people get it bad. Nobody listen to Arnold Schwarzenegger cry. <laughs> Everybody get to the chopper. Shut up, Arnold. Stop crying. I couldn't get to the chopper. So this is a horrible story, guys. And um, I think that I think the jury was swayed by her crying. And I'm really hating the boyfriend. Really hating him probably helped a lot too. But you know, when the two people do something or something like that, like somebody gonna take the fall and all it takes is the one that has the more sympathy to say, hey, hey, I I didn't know he was gonna do that. And you're over there like, you did know, you helped plan it. Like, I don't know nothing about it. And then somebody takes the fall. And I really don't feel so sorry for either one of them. They, but, but the thing is, both of them should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. But like I said, some people cry better than others. It's a skill. It's a learned skill.